I can't write jams every day. Bloggy, as I am now, with no internet connection at home, well, it puts me in a mindset more slow, like a 70s guy with bushy sideburns. I'm not up to the minute like I used to be. I must admit, though, once I head toward home or somewhere else with no Wi-Fi connection, it's in my mind, thinking of the last post I put out there. There's this old way of doing things, as far as promotion and publicity goes, of just saying everything as positively about your product as possible. Well, social media hit the world like a Mack truck in the face, and all that changed. Now it's up to the minute, and it's all opinion all the time. People are free to share their negative experiences in relation to a company or person, and it's all a bit more open. Companies have had to adapt. So for me to eject myself from this world, I'm assuming people that have followed me for a while must be wondering what I've learned. Life is the same. I've learned that my emotions are more even healed, or at least a bit slower to develop compared to my Facebooking days. As far as the latest news about politics, etc., I have to ask you, do you really think what you're reading on your newsfeed is news? Links from Huffington Post, New York Times, Fox News, these are news. These are reality. You're an informed American. I'm alive. I'm clear-headed and I'm dealing with my personal position in this world. I'm not at all happy about the state of this country's political landscape. But you know, I know one thing, it's theater. It's a joke and it pisses me off to think that people are so spoon-fed. This is not right, the way this country and the world is being run. Your emotions are being toyed with and nothing is being accomplished. I was cranky on that last post yesterday's, but today I'm not. I'm in the mood to tell you how I see it and I want you to enlighten yourself and quit listening to your stupid friends and their stupid legs on Facebook. At least go read a story from your enemy, assuming you're one of those liberal conservative types, as if the world is so polarized and simple. Go live a real life. Go struggle. Go make something. Go be disappointed. Sleep it off. Start over. Each day is tribulation and we need our strength tested. Pay attention to your diet and intake and realize you're grumpy when you're hungry, you're antsy when you're horny and when you're tired. Go to sleep. Don't make any decisions at that moment. I hope something here has connected with you because I experiment with the writing of these blog posts and I subscribe to this last bit of wisdom. Don't be afraid to be wrong. This is not the most clearly constructed blog post, but fuck it, I'm not editing it. It turned all political, but I guess I want you to know that our constitution and the creation of this government in the late 1700s was brilliant and humane. Tyranny as we seem to have now was expected by these men of power way back then. They accounted for it. They actually unified singular, autonomous states into a singular American federation, all the while, considering the ramifications of the possibilities of a tyrannical government. I don't think they fully accounted for the power of corporate greed. It was written right into the Constitution that, if we the people are not happy with our government, we're the boss and we are able to abolish it and start over. I think it's time to do this. It's time to eject corporatism, state socialism, aka fascism from our United States governmental rule. That's what I'm thinking about these days. Facebook, you, be shown me enough. I understand that Democrat Republican are simple costumes used for TV appearances. If I'm uninformed about my own powers, that's my fault. Quite simply, the unification of all governmental bodies into one government only benefits the rulers and don't kid yourself, the corporations truly run the show. Our rulers have obviously divorced themselves from nature and all that runs perfectly. Hello? Wind power? Solar? Mass transit? Electric cars? We cannot assume that the government of this country is in any position to offer us a sustainable social safety net. 
Look to your friends and family if you're searching for such. And for God's sakes, go learn something about the Constitution.